Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 2. Alright, so I got myself a nice little tree farm set up and uh, by feeding this little fella with um, with some bone meal yeah, I did steal it from a chest downstairs um, he's really picking up the pace um, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to keep up the amount of bone meal that he needs and I don't know what other things he can use so yeah anyhow I was thinking about a way to get all this stuff into my base and uh, it's gonna be a tough nut to crack first of all though oh ouch I wanna set down one of these let's see hmm if I go down here and do that, I want to see where the chunks are so that I can put a chunk loader somewhere, which would be here. I'll just put it there. And uh, now I can see that. Oh, wait. Is that already being. Oh, it's already chunk loaded. Perfect. This thing does not seem to be chunk loaded, though, so. Just to make sure, let's place one. Um, Let's place one down, like there. And we'll take a look. Oh, that was in the middle. Perfect. Yeah, so now all these little areas here are loaded. Perfect. So now this can happily chug along. Why isn't that one moving? Out of power. Oh, I should probably put in, let's say, half a stack of coal coke. It will use fuel just to be able to move around because this guy will find a lot of time spent under the trees so yeah and he already have 33 whoa that grew fast on me he already have 33 wooden and uh, one apple awesome so how do we want to collect all these things mm, I want to do it with trains and uh, if we take a look at this, this one is filling up with wheat. All this wheat I want to store or use for something at least. So I'm gonna set up a track here I think. I'm not sure entirely how this is gonna work but I'll work on this off camera for a while and uh, figure it out. I want to somehow get it down into the base, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it should work out. So, let me work on that, and I'll be right back with you. And while I was down to my EE quarters here, I found that I finally fully charged the Pine Star Dry. That's cool, but what if I pulled out one, two of these, and uh, yeah, we're going to have to charge up a bit on this one to pull out a third one. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of EMC. But hey, I got 34 diamonds from the chest over on the other side, so let's put them in. That's a lot of EMC. Awesome. I'm going to make this in two. Hmm, I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm going to make the next step of the client star. And here I am making tracks. I don't need that many though, I just needed two stacks, but oh well. And it seems I forgot to... Oh well. There we go. You can have that as well. You can eat that. Perfect. How's this one looking? 350. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep thinking on how I wanna get my stuff up from above. I might want to have some sort of... Hmm. We'll see. I'll figure something out. So, back in a bit. So, I went ahead and uh, crafted myself some bookshelves and uh, an enchantment table so I can upgrade to the final step. Now we're at the highest tier and that means I can make the superb assembly cart. But, my, this one requires a lot of stuff. It has this divine shield though, which makes it very difficult to destroy. Also, this gave us access to the defender cart, which is uh, very 
easy one to create actually um, a dispenser and some iron ingots uh, it shoots at mobs but I'm gonna build this one the no not the simple AI the superb assembly cart so that's gonna require quite a lot of diamonds and uh, iron and gold and chests and stuff like that so once I have all the materials uh, I'll be back with you all right I got pretty much everything now so let's craft the superb assembly cart Wow, now this is a quite complex machine. Um, I'll be honest, I don't fully know how to use it, so I'm going to be experimenting a little bit with it in here. So as you can see, I removed all the all the ovens, and there's a reason for this. I'm gonna put them elsewhere, but let's check on that one. Wow, this has so much doesn't need the shield right now though cool okay so this has so many things you can do and uh, there are a few things that I will need I need to get in uh, get to understanding this one a little bit so I'll be back in a moment alright guys I think I have this one doing what I wanted to do um, <laughs> I think. This is a bit of a tricky one to work, but basically we can create a program, which I will do, which I will call dig up. Okay. Now, in this one, we want to have to set some tasks. There are building task, command tasks, and add-on tasks. A building task is simply placing down items where the middle one is just in front of the cart. So if I were to do this, I would build something similar to... Uh, Obsidian is probably not the best to show with, but it would be something like that. Mm, okay. Let me just clean this up. So what I want this one to do is... Let's remove that task. We'll start by doing some. Um, hmm. I th think. Yeah. Let's create a variable called Z level. Okay. Now we have a Z level which is zero. We want to make that one global to the altitude. Now, starting this program, if I understand it, I'll just give it some fuel here. We'll set the sea level to minus 78. Okay, is that where we are? No, not really. Hmm, that's odd. Maybe... That's odd. Okay, well, showing the variables, why is that one? Let's uh, start the program again. Okay, it pulsed and it's now set to minus 78. I'm not sure why that is, but I want it to be 50 and then increasing. So let's do that instead. The variable, oh, we can set the variable in the beginning like this. Set Z level to 50. Okay. Perfect. Now we want to start the actual stuff. So this will be label 0. This is where the actual dig starts. We will add a building task. And this one, I want it to, let's see dig out that area in front of it hmm yeah I wanted to dig out that area in front of it and uh, then add as an add-on task a track on that particular point there okay now it should dig and actually head up 
let's um, add a command to increase this one by one. Um, actually, increase with one. Okay. So every time this command passes, it will increase the currency level, which is 50 by one. Then we want to check um, if the Z level equals no is smaller than 70. I wanted to dig 10 levels up. Then we should go to label zero, which is that one. Dig and build. Okay. This might not work. <laughs> um, I don't know if I do need to have an end. We can try this. But before I do anything, I'm going to export this program because uh, if I want to destroy the cart, I can grab this program again. So let's give it a few more fuel and let's start this. Okay, so it did dig out. And it will continue like this. The bad thing is that I can't really have it dig out this area behind it. Hmm. So, I wonder, is there a way to move the center point? I'm gonna stop that one now. Okay, well this looks cool. But that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, let me work a bit on this and see if I can figure that part out. Turns out I wasn't so very far from the surface anyhow. There will be more experiments with the superb assembly card later. But um, right now I'm gonna leave it as it is. Uh, what we want though, we want to build a train. And this train is going to go down into this area, get unloaded into chests or whatever, and go back up. This is going to be an experiment uh, for a small train. Oops. For a small train that I will build later. No, for a small train I will build now, but f uh, in preparation for a big train that I will build in the future. Because I do have an idea for something quite cool. But that does require some work. So we do need to build a gated track here so we keep enemies and uh, stuff out. And. Uh, to build these, I'm gonna need a few things. Let me see. The gated track. It's gonna be one way as well, I think. No, just normal. No, gated one way track. It's two advanced rail fence gates, and uh, I think I actually have most of these. Well, I do need to make some more rail. You know how to do that? Easy. Just put rail like this. Well, iron. Let's make a bunch. I don't really need that much, but yeah. And uh, for that, I'm going to need fence gates. And I'm going to head up and craft these. Okay. Let's make to make fence gates it's something like this. Yes. Gonna need four, I think. Four will do.
Okay. So I don't know how these work, but we'll figure it out. Hey. <laughs> That's how it is. I'm gonna need two of these. Some advanced rail. I wonder if I still have some lying about. In one of the chests. Maybe down at this chest. Yes, four. So these two with these two. Oh, actually, I make four for each, don't I? Oh well. That's gonna be a lot of fence gates. Now, if I build this, how does it look? Oh, it has a fence on it. Nice. And I can go through. Okay. I don't know how this works, really, but we're going to have a downward journey on that side so that tracks coming down, trains coming down, will go. Oh, they can't turn like so. That's fine. This will do. And the other way will go up here. I'll eventually build something nicer out of this so it looks a bit better. And then we build the gated track there and... Hmm, I wonder if I can turn it using this. Better place down this first. Perfect. Now... I wonder... Do I need anything else? I could build something like this to hold off any enemies. Uh, someone is shooting at me. Of course. Ah, uh, give it up. Ow! Okay, so... I'll nicen this up and make it brick later, but I just want to make sure that I have a protected area here. So I don't get any enemies in base. Would be bad. Yeah, something like this should do. Perfect. If it will work, that's another story. There we go. Well, I have track enough, that's the good part. Now, I think that I'm gonna need for that one to work. Uh, do I have some wood in here? Yes, I do. I'm going to need to build some redstone levers. Um, well, redstone torches. Why do I run around with so much stuff in my bags? Let's dump some of this off. That one can go in there as well. These as well. Okay. That should do for now. I've got a little bit of space. go through there. I'll have to test that out, I suppose. And um, I think it's a detector track. So that's just standard rail and a pressure plate. So that's nothing big to create. 
Yeah, let me grab that. Actually, I had an advanced detector one, so... Now, let's do it the right way. I don't want to try anything and fail miserably, so... We need one of these pressure plates. And we have the rest of the items, I think. We need one of these rail beds. So let's make a bunch of ties. And I'm out of slabs. There we go. And uh, it's one of these. I need this, some of that, some of that, and a pressure plate. There we go. Detector track. And this is the one going out. So that would have to detect if anything is coming that way. Okay. So if I understand this right, they close like so. Let's grab a cart. And uh, we will want to use a boarding track so we get a little bit of speed boost. Like so. And just placing that will send the cart flying, okay? And we could just grab a pretty standard minecart. Okay, locked on the boarding track. And now, just for the sake of it, let's uh, let's tie these two together into a knot like that. Okay. If this work as I expect it to, he will zip away and come back down to me. And I will hear two doors open. Mm, yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, booster. We need the high speed rails. No, we can probably do the booster. Hmm. A power track. That's the advanced rails. Gold, redstone and standard rail. We have most here, I think. Is that not it? Of course, it's in the rolling machine. Heh. <laughs> Today I'm totally showing off my lack of skills with railcraft, aren't I? There we go. That's 16 of those. That should last for a while. So let's grab uh, another four of these. And um, that should do. Okay, I'm running around with way too much crap right now. There's really nothing I can do about it either. So, um, the booster track. Should be there. And uh, do I have to power all? No, it doesn't seem like it. Can I use booster track uphill as well? Okay, that should do it. 
And of course I need another redstone torch. Let's make three, just so I have it. And uh, we place that one down there. Hopefully this will be enough boost. Whoosh. Nope, it isn't. And it's locked. More power track. And that totally experimenting with this concept now and it seems to go about eight tracks before it needs to be refreshed that's fair enough that should be enough for it let's try again And it came down. Okay, I'll leave this one on. Yep, that works. Now, can we do this with a chest? Do I have a chest cart? I should have a chest cart. If not, let's make one. And of course I don't have any wood here, but I should... Oh, by the way, how are we looking? 54 diamonds. Not bad, not bad. And this one is pretty full as well, so let's fill that one up. Well, pretty full. It wasn't even halfway, but yeah, you get the point. I should be able to pull a chest out of here. If we could just find something that is semi nearby. There we go. Let's make a chest cart. Now we do want to craft another boarding track. That's the... what's the holding track? I don't know. Boarding track. I do need to craft a redstone repeater, but I do have materials here as well, so why not? Um, what was the recipe again? So just three stone, two of these, and that. I will teach this to my table because I'm gonna need more of these. Um, these guys, uh, the train boarding tracks, will hold a whole train in place. And uh, of course we're gonna need more rail beds. Advanced rail, I'm gonna need a few more of those. So... I didn't dump any of these in here, no, I didn't. Okay. So... I want to make enough of these advanced rails, so let's grab three more, more gold. And that should be enough advanced rail for a while. So, train boarding track. Just want to make sure. Yeah. The repeater, a pressure plate, again, which I, of course, didn't bring materials for. <laughs> can I teach this one? Yes, I can. Cool. Let's uh, make a train. Three should do. Okay. 
Here's the deal with this one. I craft it up first by putting train boarding. It's the repeater on top of the pressure plate and that and some advanced rails. We do get eight, so that's fine. Let's place it down, change the direction, and let's place our three little trains. Okay, that seems to be locked in position. Can't really go anywhere now. So if I grab two of these and make one of these. The whole train should be coming down. All three of them. And get stopped. Let's do that again. One moment. Alright guys, I spent quite a lot of time testing and experimenting to figure out how to do this the best way and none of the ways really work that well. Um, there is something I'd like to do and that's to make this send out a pulse that it's done and uh, it does send out a pulse when it's done unloading but that only goes to this one and I can't change the direction of this one for some odd reason. I can change that one but I can't change the uh, item unloader in there. But this can work still. Um, so basically I'm gonna have to live with having just a single chest cart here. Um, so what I'm gonna do up there is I'm gonna build a pair of filters, some tubing, uh, things like that, timers and a few things uh, to construct. Um, yeah, I don't have space. Um, to build a loading station for each of my places. Like one for the wheat and one for the wood and uh, get it all transported down here and we can work with it from here. So, I'm going to dump away the hybrid carts, the chests. I'm going to need the loaders that I built, but I can do that later. And we can dump that and the pressure plates. And uh, yeah, we're going to need those. Is this one running, by the way? Yep. And I'm on diamonds right now, but I could probably change it up for something else. Uh, how's my... Klein star looking. Wow, that's a lot of energy. I did fill the Klein stars Y, so now we're getting a lot of energy production. So life is so much easier with a Swift Wolf rending gale. It's just jump and you fly around. It's just awesome. I'm glad I made that one. Although I should make this one into a red one. Yeah, let's do that. That's quick and easy. Just go and burn it in there, put that one in, and we can take 700,000 out, and we have a red one. Boom. This should increase energy collection rates quite some. Perfect. Alright, so what do I need? I need a timer and a filter, and for the filter we're going to need to make some red dot wafers. Um, filter. Just gold, a piston, and a wafer. That's not too hard. Let's uh, grab some wafers. I'm gonna need two. I have one timer. Uh, if I grab some wiring, some anodes, and some normal wafers there. Also going to need... Hmm. Some of those. Let's see. I put a wafer and one of those on top of there, and then a cathode. And if I don't remember this recipe wrong, this is the way I build the timer. Yep. Wow. I didn't think I'd remember that one. 
And the filter, we need the gold ingots for. So that's four gold. We can just dump it in there and craft up the wafers. Oh, yeah. Got some extra red alloy. That's good. That's gonna be eight redstone. Yeah, I tend to use up lots of redstone. But, hey. I can always make more. Should I need it? Perfect. So, the piston first. It's just something like this. Oh. And iron there, and some planks. Two pistons. The doped wafers, and then it's just cobblestone. Two filters. We're also going to need some redstone tubes. And I might as well get some stone jacketed wire. I also have brick. No, let's get the stone one. That should be enough. I hope. Let's uh, head down here and pick up the... Um, I did put some chests in here. Yes, I did. And a chest cart. Oh yeah, and uh, the item loaders, gonna need one for each place, and a boarding track, actually three of them because I'm gonna replace this with a boarding track, um, there it is, perfect. <laughs> The bad thing is that I can't really make this uh, build with a train, as I was hoping to, but I'm uh, gonna have to live with that. Let's grab our filter. And we need to turn it around. There we go. And, um, do I have a lever? No. But I have a redstone torch, don't I? No, I don't have that either. Oh, well. Let's, um... Fly into home here and... Grab ourselves. Let's grab two of them. Yeah, that's um, that's gonna be a normal track, and we're gonna move this. So just a normal boarding one, and a normal track. There. Oh dear, creeper. Dead creeper. Is that one not working? It's got fuel. How's he for fertilizer? Yeah, he's running quite low. Well, that will work. Um, now we're gonna need these and the redstone tubing. Also, we can put the item loader on top of that. And then we put the chest just next to it. I'm gonna make this look nicer well so so we want the filter to not pull anything but apple and wood but I want it to pull a full stack of wood if it can and a full stack of apples as well okay that way we can actually have this one send uh, we can send in other items into this. Come on. Oh. I have to remember that if you move that one, it doesn't work. Um, this one can go up there. Let's put it here instead. Did I get any normal red alloy one? Yes. And let's put down one of these.
we want this to pull huh I want to use a state cell here I think oh state cell is that silicon chip one so I wonder if I have any of those why would I want that you might ask well I don't want to have that timer running all the time so if I use silicon chips and let's just make another red doped wafer or two I'm mostly using red doped wafers so I might as well just do a bunch of them like that only need one for now and uh, it's three normal stone wafers like so and the red dot one for three silicon chips awesome and we're gonna need a pointer and a cathode we also need to make a bunch of these so let's make so we have that much yeah that'll do we're gonna need a few of these like so and um, the pointer can make three and um, we'll make two cathodes just so I have the extras I need to make more wafers so let's just stick uh, that stack of stone in there I can work for a while no hurry, I'll come back and get it later. Okay, so the silicon chip, we need to make two of these. Um, one of these in each corner. Cathode and pointer. And then it's just wafers, and I don't have these. No, it's anodes. Hey, okay, wafers. That's one, two cells. So, whenever... Whenever this cart arrives here, and I do need to make a storage cart detector. Um, I think I might have one or two in here. Let's head down. We need to make two of these. This might not work as well as I think it will, but we'll see. Might get it working at least part way as I want it to, but uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, what can I put away? Probably these two torches. I just need to have about that much wood and we put a circle around these and we get the detectors storage all right here's the deal though this one will oh yeah, yeah, yeah. complete it has to be full before it goes any further Hmm. Did I make another detector? Yes, I did. If I get a switch track... That could do. I need a lot more tracks, so I'm gonna build a bit on this and I'll be right back with you. I just looked up the recipe for the switch motor which I will need. Um, I am going to have to uh, do this in the next episode because I need one of these. Well, I actually need two of these, I think. And um, basically, these are used for the switch motor, which is built like this. This little nifty thing will toggle my machines... Uh, well, sorry, not the machines, but uh, uh, these switch tracks. It will toggle their function. So uh, it will flip on and off uh, depending on 
which train is coming. Um, the cool thing with this is I can set one of these switch tracks, for instance, here. Okay. And whenever there is a train that rolls over here, it will send a redstone pulse. And with a toggle latch, it will uh, switch the rail so it goes off in that direction. This one, when that is loaded, can just go back in a circle and back down, so I can have two trains on the same track. It will require a bit of signaling, I suppose, or uh, some sort of nifty... Uh, I might need a switch down there in the basement as well. We'll sort that out. Yeah, that could work. So, they go into whichever they can find at the moment, so, yeah. Um, uh, so I'm gonna work on this a bit off-camera, and I might start building some sort of automated crafting system. I'm not sure how, though. We'll see, we'll see. So, I'll catch you guys in the next episode, which will be episode 16. And, uh, yeah, have a nice one. Bye-bye.